Brian here, and we're back with the age-old question, what is better? Except today, uh, instead of we're, us talking about combat axes, which we clearly found out in the last video, which was sort of part one of this one, uh, what axes worked better? A lighter or smaller head, whether it be broad, because yes, it can be broad, broad for combat, it's on a wood chopping axe or splitting axe, uh, on a longer shaft or handle, uh, with a lighter head, generated the same amount of force of, let's say, a heavy head on a short handle. The advantages were we had reach, uh, and it also could be choked up on if it needed to, so it'd be even faster, maybe less powerful. But at full extension, it had maximum power, and it's still light enough to move around quickly. Uh, so it was actually the one that had the advantage, even in the uh, Dane Axe. We have our Dane Axe here with a four foot uh, shaft or handle, uh, and it has a lighter head because of the length compared to something like our uh, wood chopping axe. A wood chopping axe with a shorter shaft and a heavy head or larger head uh, performed exactly the same as the longer shaft on the Dane Axe. So what you end up getting is you end up getting the uh, power, uh, but you get the reach and the speed of mobility due to the lighter head. So that gave us that advantage, so we determined these were the best options, and that's why you see them historically. That's why they were using these style of axes, because of the recovery and the ability to uh, parry with them and use them in other manners other than just swinging them really powerfully up close, which would probably get you killed. But today we're talking about throwing axes. We have two, uh, I should say there's more than two, uh, historical references. We have one Frankish one where they talk about them throwing at Angon, early period, uh, and then Francisca, or uh, throwing axes when we assume, to uh, split shields. So they'd have the archers first, they'd have their, their uh, spears, which are a little bit longer range than axes, and then they would throw axes. Uh, we also have accounts of the Saxons speaking of Viking armies later century doing this as well. Throwing their javelins or spears, uh, of course archery is always first, javelins or spears, and then axes. We have one account in the sagas, which we've tested before, where the axe was actually thrown into the foot of the other uh, opponent. We don't have a lot of throwing documented in the sagas, possibly sport and competition, uh, which we know that the Vikings threw axes in sport and competition. Uh, so that means they most likely thought it was a valued skill uh, in combat as well. Uh, so what we're talking about today is would an axe like this with a long shaft and a light head be better for throwing? Or would the short handled heavy head be better for throwing? So what we did today is we started off with like maybe the lightest of all of them, a short handle. Uh, if you look at this one, this one is performed in different videos and no, it has not left in heads easily, it's not the best at wood, wood cutting, and it does. It has an old uh, round handle, it's not even an oval handle or a teardrop shaped handle or anything like this, or an octagonal handle, so you can tell where the head's at for combat, it's just rounded. And the person who made this made it for throwing, because in throwing, that makes no difference. You can throw this, uh, it performs exceptionally well, I've thrown it way over 30 feet uh, with double rotations, and stuck it. And yes, the short handle doesn't get in the way much because of these rotations. The handle, because uh, it spins near the head, it balances somewhere up near the axe. So as it's spinning, the handle can almost be at the target and still be able to hit it square off. Where when we tested an axe like this, although it was possible to throw it, yes, all axes are possible to be thrown. Uh, we find that out in our testing. This style of axe, the handle could hit first easily in your rotation due to how far out it is. It means that you have to judge it just right where your head's going this way, and you may even end up hitting this way. So if you don't have a uh, horned or beaked axe, you may not get a good hit on the impact. And yes, the impact alone can do severe damage. And yes, we have a lot of wind today. I hope that's not messing up our uh, actual video. Uh, we tested that out, but as for throwing and not having to put a lot of power behind it, an axe like this is definitely not going to hit as hard as a heavier head or a short handle. And this type of axe, when we tested it, uh, you don't have to put as much power behind it. You just pretty much elegantly let it go, and it will fly out and stick in the target. And it has relatively a short handle, not much longer than this one, so there's not very much difference. It, it sticks 
exceptionally well. It has a bit of a beat to it or a mark. So it's, it's the target quite well. Uh, we tested it out. Uh, and then, uh, believe it or not, we went up to a wood shopping. So yes, everyone knows that it is a time-honored tradition of uh, lumberjacks to throw axes like this so no it can be done. But we get the same thing, the handle is kind of in the way, but not so much as we threw this one, it worked quite well, um, as this axe, the Dane axe. And yes, I threw it, and it is possible. Uh, it's very cumbersome, it takes up a lot of area. Uh, the handle, on the other hand, does generate more power due to the leverage when you throw in it. So yes, you're gonna get power in that axe throw, it's going to hit good and solid, but uh, as you'll see, this can actually hit the target first, more likely. Uh, it can hit the ground and skip off and fly into something. Uh, and it's almost taller than man size as you're throwing it, because it obviously has to be able to clear the ground. Uh, and it would have to be thrown way higher in the air to go any length of range. So the handle limits how far you can throw it due to the idea of it being in the way of you and your target trying to hit a man-sized target. So obviously you'd have to be hitting chest or head high. Where the shorter the handle gives you more control over where you can throw at, like high, low, distance, the lighter hand, a lighter, uh, shorter handle with the lighter head gives you more distance. But I honestly think overall, in all of our axes, a slightly heavier head, and I wouldn't say an extremely ridiculously heavy head, because that would reduce how far you can throw it to begin with perform the most elegant, the most accurately, and best. So an axe like this, I'm going to be honest, uh, was probably the best for all-out accuracy and a good medium range where something like this was probably better if you wanted to just reach out and get somebody you wanted an elegant thrower more for sport uh, and accuracy. Now, uh, the thing is, if you wanted extreme power, still go with a slightly heavier head, short hand. So in this one, I think it's the reverse. You're winning with a heavier head, short handle, over longer handles, light heads, uh, as you see here. Even the uh, wood wood cutting axe performed, our Abraham Lincoln axe performed better than, uh, in my opinion, than the Dane axe I'm throwing. I don't think anybody would throw these style axes. These were their combat axes. They'd have special axes that they would like to throw if they were going to throw them in shields to split them or to their opponents. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I was up in Eden, Minnesota, I saw a, a Sykes, or a uh, Saxon Sax, and it's very much like Randall Bo McNeese Bowie. Uh, and yes, I believe, in my mind, that yes, some uh, Saxes, or Sykeses, could have been thrown in combat. And yes, I throw them effectively. Uh, they're not a lot different than axes. I just don't see them thrown on a major battlefield. The only time I could see them being thrown is possibly in competition with other people. If they had one where the handle would not break and it wasn't antler or bone or horn or something or wood that's just fit onto the tang. Uh, okay, probably something like this where it's leather wrapped or something like that. Uh, they could have thrown in competition or possibly in a civilian dueling situation and maybe never get done. Somebody may have pulled it off, but it, as most people would say, like Wendy Beige, if you throw a rotation and they weren't yeah. throwing no skin, uh, such as the Japanese, or they, or they were using really light blades, I don't think they'd be thrown. Actually, in combat, something has to be heavy, like this blue here. Uh, it has to have a lot of mass to it to have a, a throw that's going to be effective no matter what. Even if you hit handle first, you want to be able to at least break the ball and the guy out. So, uh, yes, I think it's possible somebody might have thrown a smaller Sykes if it was that heavy enough one. Uh, and I hope you all enjoyed our episode here. We we're testing everything out. Uh, we even had some lighter blades thrown in the video to demonstrate the difference. And yes, they, they, they work. But if you try to hit something like flesh, they usually don't go in as deep. Uh, so they're not really effective as weapons or other weapons. They, they're mostly for sport. The light blades you see in the store, light throwing axes, are extremely light now. Yes, they stick in targets are properly set up for them, but I hope they do. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our episode. Uh, if you can, go by and check out Patreon. We've got a lot of stuff up there. Some of the stuff's even free you can check out and watch. Uh, so all the videos, all of uh, Varzeka's videos have come out with us doing the shield test. I think they'll all be out soon. You can watch that. But he's edited very, very well. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed our little episode and far better. So that would have worked even with the longer handle on it, but that's because of the ang uh, point that it hit and where it, uh, what it hit. Yeah.
So the tar piles are now going out to go have herbs put in. That's why I've been collecting tars for years, it's for little mini gardens. So the tar piles are now going out to go have herbs <laughs> No, I'm going to put rosemary, mint, cilantro and tires and grow that around the yard, put a garden in there. Now we haven't got people bitching about the toys in the backyard either though, because they know we have You can always come back later and watch the videos. <laughs> wow. That's cheeky! And nick, nick the tree and... <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Point first. I think some people will enjoy this. You think? They wanted to see it. Target. Good job.